Sean Miller with the World of Outlaws hanging out with uh, Lucas Wolf on a neat little stand here. I'm a backstretch at Junction Motor Speedway after the uh, month of money wrapped up this past weekend. Give us a rundown on not only your Knoxville Nationals, but how the last couple weeks have gone. Uh, Knoxville was a, uh, a little bit of a mixed bag. We had a uh, great result on uh, Friday or Wednesday night, which locked us in for a uh, Saturday night show, uh, which is certainly uh, was a relief to, uh, to be in and not have to do any of the extra extra races to get in and then uh, and then we were actually running uh, decently uh, in the A main the first half and uh, run around 10th and then unfortunately uh, had an engine failure there at the end and we were able to finish but uh, but was certainly wasn't running up to at full speed so we were down a cylinder but uh, all in all was a uh, was a decent weekend I guess you call it. Uh, previous to that we've, uh, we've been running better we had a pretty decent uh, swing up through Canada and then uh, we're able to pick up the victory of Bloomington. So that was uh, that was good to get a win, and uh, obviously, hopefully, uh, we're able to continue that success over the next few weeks. We've been hounding you all year long. How close are you to the win? When are you going to get the win? Obviously, being out here your fifth year on the road with the Outlaws, that's something that's uh, been on everybody's mind. So take us through that victory at Bloomington uh, a little less than a couple weeks ago. Uh, we were quite competitive. We were had a uh, very good car. It uh, started from uh, seventh spot. And, uh, was able to get going about from uh, lap 15 on. Was just uh, really locked down and was pretty much able to do whatever I wanted to do. They, uh, when a car would go high, I was able to get them on the bottom and uh, and vice versa. If they go to the go to the low side, I was able to get around them. So hopefully uh, we're able to uh, to kind of remember what we did there and we're able to uh, apply that. We've been uh, we've been qualifying a lot better, which has certainly helped our whole our whole performance and results a lot. But uh, certainly to uh, to get that win was fantastic. It was great for the whole team. Uh, we've all tried this for a while, so it was good to uh, to finally accomplish that celebration from you. I mean, we all expected after five years to for you to tear the place down and for it to us to be ushered away in flames out there and you just kind of get out and smile and a couple handshakes. Yeah, it was obviously uh, more a sense of relief than anything. Honestly, I was just uh, too happy to get it. We got a little bit uh, tense there at the end. We had a, uh, a double file restart with, uh, with two laps to go. So it was uh, a lot of things all happened there once, but uh, it's a funny business. You know, you're obviously happy to win, but uh, at the same time, you pretty much got to start worrying about the next one right away. So uh, we were uh, headed to Peavely, which is a, a bit of a drive from there. So we were uh, kind of focused on what we needed to do there almost. It was a uh, it was a great night, certainly not diminishing that, but uh, it was uh, hopefully the first event. So what was the difference between winning the race and the other races where you've come so close and finished second or maybe faded in those fi final five laps? Well, certainly it's uh, it's kind of trying to uh, to get the car to come on better uh, later in the event. We've uh, we've generally been uh, pretty good the first half of the race, but struggled to, to finish well, especially when you get the uh, the couple run of double pile restarts or things that uh, can really shake up the field. So you have to be able to uh, to save your stuff and come on at the end and, and save your best for last in a sense. So that's uh, that's something that's important at our races, and that was uh, something we were able to do. And I was. Uh, you know, pretty much clearly the fastest car there, so that was that was good. It made driving it really easy. So uh, if we can uh, if we can do that more frequently, that'll be uh, turning the better results as well. Since the Canada swing a couple weeks ago, and all throughout basically the uh, month of money, and obviously with Knoxville Nationals qualifying, the team has just been amazing qualifying compared to where you were at the first few months of the season. What's been the biggest difference between uh, you know qualifying mid pack and now qualifying up there in the top five to get those bonus points? Well, we've got uh, we've got our engine program running better. We were struggling a little bit earlier in the season. We had some uh, some failures that kind of set us back a bit, and uh, some of the engines were patched together, kind of just to, to get us through. But we've uh, we've slowly been able to uh, to get those back to where they need to be. We've had uh, a great uh, great success with uh, with Don Off for many years, and he, and he continues to do good work for us. And we have uh, uh, Wayne from Belmont uh, is working hard uh, with some of our other engines right now. So we keep. Uh, we keep improving that side of things, and obviously uh, Jim and Laura Alabach, you know, kind of stepped up their commitment once again for us to uh, to bro provide us with uh, with some fresher stuff here for the remainder of the year. So certainly a uh, uh, an important part of the whole equation. But uh, we were able to uh, just get everything kind of going in a better direction, and it uh, you know certainly came at the right time of year. Find the consistency. You've got good momentum. First win's knocked out of the way. You think the second one's going to be a little bit easier to uh, accomplish than the first one was? Well, I, I certainly don't think any of them are going to be easier, but I hopefully it'll be uh, sooner and more frequent. But it's a, uh, it, it's certainly a lot to uh, momentum and how you got to get a, get on a roll. You see that uh, with everybody, even the most experienced guys, kind of can get into a slump and struggle for a while, and then when they get things turned around, they, they reel off uh, 
a, a bunch of race wins quick. So hopefully we're able to uh, to follow the same long uh, same lines of success and uh, and you know that's that's what our focus is right now. Well, thanks for the time, Lucas, and best of luck as this uh, summer swing continues. Thank you.